Not mine. Not mine either. I don't suppose you've seen a silver astral. How long have you been looking? Oh, you know, not long. Really? Okay, quite long. Yeah. I've been walking for miles. I've absolutely no idea where my car is. Maybe it's been stolen. Unlikely. There must be a procedure here. This must happen all the time. Well, maybe if we go to the bus stop, there might be some emergency phone or something. Good idea. What are you doing? If you touch your keys to your head, your head acts as an antenna and the signal goes further. Obviously not far enough, though. So why weren't you doing this before? It does look a bit stupid. Well, now you don't mind. <laughs> a friend of mine who went to Disneyland told me he tied a helium balloon to his hire car when he parked it there. <laughs> That's such a good idea. I wish I'd done that. Yeah, some kid's always going to come along and nick a nice shiny balloon sticking out a car window, right? Yeah, I suppose. Hi, um, sorry to bother you, but we've lost our cars. Do you need special assistance, or are you disabled in any way? No, we, but we do need assistance in, in finding the cars. So you're not disabled? No. You've lost your car, didn't think to know down where you parked it, in spite of all the signs telling you to do so. No, and actually we've, we've lost two cars. We can send a car to locate your vehicle. There is a charge for this, and it'll take around 20 minutes. The charge is 14.99 per car. Jesus. There are signs clearly reminding you to note your parking position. OK, OK. We're idiots. We'll pay the idiot charge. Bollocks. What? I'm a double idiot. We should have just paid for one car search and then used that car to find the other one. Right. I'm going to call him back. Hello, special assistance and disabled helpline. Uh, hiya. Um, we spoke a couple of minutes ago. We're the idiots who lost their cars. Uh, I just wanted to cancel one of the car location charges. You're joking. I am not. Well, for God's sake, you can just... Hey, just... hey. It's fine. Thanks. So, 20 minutes. What's your name? Oh, no, I'm Jack. <laughs> Where have you come from, Jack? Frankfurt. I've been at an agricultural trade fair. Mm. I buy tractors. Cool. Yeah. Not really. Yeah. Tractors are great. Everyone loves a tractor. That will be everyone who's not been to the Frankfurt Tractor Expo. <laughs> A.K.A. Track Together. A.K.A. Trapped together. <laughs> what about you? Uh, I'm Maya. I have been in Detroit oh. at my mother's funeral. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. No, I know it's fine. I hated her. Why? She walked out on me when I was a kid. Right. It's really weird, actually, going to a funeral and listening to everyone talk about how wonderful and special and unique she was. Strangest experience of my life. It was just numb, felt nothing. <laughs> I understand. Track together wasn't exactly a party either. There's all these people sobbing around me. I just felt nothing. It's just nagging resentment. 
At one point, I just wanted to stand up and say, shut up. She wasn't a saint. She hurt people. It doesn't matter how creative or clever she was. Deep down, she was not kind, and she was not loving, and she was not caring. She walked out on three young children when they were so young, and they have spent the rest of their lives trying to come to terms with that. And maybe, just maybe, in dying, she'll help that pain go away. Wow. It's a bit like the Massey MF9. I mean, no matter how cool and sexy it looks on the field, underneath, it's just a pig. Don't be. It's fine that my mother was like a tractor. <laughs> Truly, though, nothing's quite like to track together. Right. Part agricultural, part executive. Sharp suits and ruddy cheeks all end. But you, you should come sometime. <laughs> Thanks. Excuse me? I said no thanks. I don't want to go with you to track together or whatever it is. I wasn't asking you. Have you been listening to our entire conversation? Why? Was it that good? Look, have you found our cars yet? Well, I'd hate to cut short your little drinks party, but your vehicles have indeed been located. Hold on. How do you know we've been drinking? Oh, I know all sorts of things, Mr. Jack Bannister. Home security solutions just arrived from Glasgow. What? Did you lie to me? <laughs> did he lie to me? Yes, he did. Look, I'm really sorry. I've always liked tractors. And I made you laugh. I told you all about my mother. Yes, she did, Jack. <laughs> Shut up, you! <laughs> Your car is both located in Zone F. Positions 38 and 41, respectively. Very close to each other. Now, as a special concession, you will only be charged one idiot fee, and I'll be refunding your credit card, Maya. What? Well, that makes sense, right? Maya? Uh, that makes perfect sense. Thank you. Stephen. Thank you, Stephen. Are you flirting with the help book? I think you'll find his name is Stephen. Yeah, Jack. I think you'll find my name's Stephen. Mm -hmm. oh, look, look, look. This, this is completely ridiculous. Let me help you with your bags. Thank you, Stephen. Fuck you, Stephen. Next time to impress you, I'll actually bring a tractor. That would be difficult to lose. I'm sorry again about making up that stuff. It's fine. It's funny. Where are you headed? To London. Me too. Maybe we could go for a drink. Maybe. Follow me. No. 